Installation of a canless recessed light fixture with a new switch powered from the receptacle. There will be four canless recessed lighting fixtures installed in the room with a new switch added, powered from the existing receptacle. Select the receptacle from which the power cable to power the switch you are adding will be routed. Turn off the circuit breaker that powers this receptacle. Make sure the power is turned off. Unscrew the receptacle and check if more wires can be connected to the junction box. This is a metal junction box with 214 AWG, American wire gauge, BX, armored, cables and a ground pigtail. It is a 3 by 2 by 2 and 3 quarters inch metal junction box. This metal junction box is slightly smaller to meet the NEC, National Electrical Code, requirements for calculating box fill, but can still practically accommodate 114 gauge cable. The best option is to replace this junction box with a larger one or see if you can get power from another power source. To avoid major additional wall damage when working on add-on projects, the cable powering the new switch will be routed from this junction box, which is very common during such work where such a decision does not create very critical and dangerous problems later. In my opinion, if this connection is made correctly, it will pose no more hazards than a connection made in an appropriately sized junction box, but all regulations must always be followed. The decision to add cable or replace the junction box is yours. Junction box cable knockouts. Hole for the screw securing the cable clamp. Remove the baseboard. Open the drywall below the top line of the baseboard.
Drill holes in the studs, not smaller than one half inch. Disconnect the existing receptacle. Open one of the cable knockouts in the junction box. The receptacle is wired with 14 gauge BX cable, so the light fixture you are installing will be wired with 14 2NM cable. Insert the cable into the cable knockout and route it through the drilled holes towards the switch location. Mark the location of the new switch. A Carlin B114RR1 gang, old work, junction box will be installed. Junction box capacity 14 cubic inches, size selected for two 14 gauge cables and a switch. Swing cable clamps. Ear tightening screws. Holes for screws securing the electrical devices to the junction box. Tabs supporting the junction box against the drywall. Junction box. Rear view. Mounting ears. Using the junction box as a template, draw an opening for the junction box. Cut an opening for the junction box. Flexible metal cable fishing snake for pulling cables behind the wall. 
Hooks on the ends of a flexible metal cable fishing snake. Fiberglass cable fishing rods for pulling cables behind the wall. Using a cable fishing snake, pull the cable from the receptacle into the switch junction box opening and leave it long enough to splice inside the junction box. From the attic, if accessible, drill a hole, not smaller than one half inch, wider is better, above the switch in the upper wall plate. Insert cable fishing snake into the drilled hole and guide it towards the switch opening. Pull the cable fishing snake from the wall through the hole for the junction box and attach the cable to it. Go to the attic and pull out the cable fishing snake with attached cable through the drilled hole in the wall plate. The cable must be long enough to reach the opening for the first light. Cut the cable and install the switch junction box. Screw in and out the screws of the mounting ears to create threads in the ears for easy installation. Insert the cables into the cable clamps. Insert the junction box into the junction box opening and tighten the mounting ears.
Remove the cable sheath. Fourteen two NM cable wires, white neutral wire, bare ground wire, black hot wire, wire nuts, wire nuts for splicing the ground wire, single pole switch front view, single pole switch rear view, ground terminal green screw. Hot terminals, gold screws. Using wire nuts, connect the wires as follows. Ground, bare, wires together. Leaving the pigtail wire outside the junction box. Neutral, white, wires together and insert them into the junction box. Trim the hot, black, wires and ground wire pigtail, no shorter than 6 inches from the bottom of the junction box, and strip the ends of the wires about 1 half inch. Make a loop at the end of the ground wire and connect the wires to the switch as follows. Ground wire to the ground terminal green screw, of the switch. Hot, black, wires to the hot terminals, gold screws, of the switch in any order.
Secure the switch to the junction box. Install the switch wall plate. Cable inserted into the receptacle junction box. Ground pigtail wire. Neutral wires, white. Hot wires, black. Cable clamp connector for NM cables. Secure the inserted cable with a clamp cable connector. Remove the sheath from the cable. Duplex receptacle, front view. Duplex receptacle, rear view. Ground terminal, green screw. Neutral terminals, silver screws. Hot terminals, gold screws. Using the wire nuts, connect the wires as follows. Ground wire, bare from the cable to the ground wire from the junction box, leaving the pigtail wire after splicing and inserting the connection into the junction box outside the junction box.
Take the white wire for the pigtail. Connect it to all the neutral, white, wires and leave the pigtail outside the junction box. Take the black wire for the pigtail. Connect it to all the hot, black, wires and leave the pigtail outside the junction box. Trim all pigtail wires, no shorter than 6 inches. Strip the ends of the wires to a length of approximately 1 half inch. Make a loop at the end of the ground wire and connect the wires to the receptacle as follows. Ground, bare, wire from the junction box to the ground terminal, green screw. Neutral, white, wire from the junction box to the neutral terminal, silver screw. Hot, black, wire from the junction box to the hot terminal, gold screw. Secure the receptacle to the junction box.
Install the receptacle wall plate. Reinstall the open drywall and baseboard. Mark the location of recessed light fixtures on the ceiling. Drill or cut holes for recessed light fixtures. If the attic is not accessible, open the drywall above the new switch near the top wall plate, drill a hole, insert a flexible cable fishing snake with the attached cable, grab it with a second piece of flexible cable fishing snake through the already drilled opening for the first recessed light fixture and pull it through this opening. Use a flexible cable fishing snake to grab in the attic the fishing snake with the cable attached and pull it through the opening for the recessed light fixture. From the second opening for the recessed light fixture, run a flexible cable fishing snake or fishing rod with an attached cable towards the first one.
Through the first recessed light opening, grab in the attic the flexible cable fishing snake or fishing rod that runs from the second recessed light opening and pull down into this hole until the cable emerges. Remove the cable from the cable fishing snake or rod and leave about 12 inches of cable hanging from the hole. Continue installing cables until all recessed light fixtures have cables installed for connection. The first light fixture with a cable from the switch and a cable to the second light fixture. Run the cable to the second opening for the light fixture. Continue running the cable from the second opening to the next and to the last one. Typically, a canless recessed light fixture junction box can accommodate two cables, 12 or 14 gauge. So each opening should not contain more than two cables that are to be connected in the light fixture junction box. 6 inches canless recessed light fixture. Recessed light lamp, front view. Recessed light lamp, rear view. Junction box of the canless recessed light. Template Junction box wires Neutral wire, white Ground wire, green Hot wire, black Quick connectors Junction box knockouts Junction box receptacle with nut Light color change switch Recessed light lamp plug Lamp installation springs Arrow on the junction box receptacle and the lighting lamp plug The protrusion on the lamp plug and the groove in the junction box receptacle Connection of the first canless recessed light fixture Snap-in cable connector Eye cable ties Any screws If possible, use cable ties or other means to secure the cables to the structure to ensure the stability of the connected light fixture junction box. Remove about 6 inches of sheathing from the cables. Strip the ends of wires about one half inch.
Open the cable knockouts in the junction box and insert the approved cable connectors. Insert the cables into the cable connectors. To connect, insert the wires into the quick connectors as follows. Ground, bare, wires from the cables to the ground, green, wire from the junction box. Hot, black, wires from the cables to the hot, black, wire from the junction box. Neutral, white, wires from the cables to the neutral, white, wire from the junction box. Close the junction box cover and set the light color switch to the selected color. Insert the junction box onto the drywall. Remove the protective film from the light lamp. Insert the lamp plug into the junction box receptacle and tighten the receptacle nut. Compress the lamp springs and insert the lamp into the drywall. The remaining light fixtures should be connected in a similar way, including the last one which has one cable.
Restore power and test light fixtures. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.